So remember I did a video on A Boogie and Little TJ having beef, right? So earlier today I was watching an interview from A Boogie because he will be dropping his album tomorrow. Well, tonight. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new because we will be reacting to that. Um, so I was watching Complex interview, right? Um, so they was talking about the tweet. They was talking about why you don't claim New York City. And they was just diving into other stuff that was very, very interesting. So we about to, we about to watch a short clip from the interview and we about to break stuff down, about to talk about it. Because I, I definitely want y'all to hear what A Boogie said and to also hear my opinion about it. So let's dive into it, man. Um, yeah, Academics, Wayno, and nah, I don't know how to pronounce the girl name. I'm sorry. Definitely don't. I definitely forgot how to pronounce the name. But yeah, let's dive into this one right here. No, no, I've heard most of the previews, but like I haven't heard the full project. But I'm glad I hear it because I can actually, you know, kind of go off some of the titles. You know, yeah. um, of course we just had the the latest track you dropped, which is King of My City. You know, the last time you were here, I remember saying that to you. I said, Yo, you got? Why don't you claim it? You got all the stats, all the accolades. Like <laughs> you're that influential. Why you don't claim it? Why now you come out with a track, King of My City? If you notice, I said, I be feeling like the king of my city. I still didn't say, all right, I'm the king of my city. I'm jacking it, right? But that right there, when I heard that part, I'm like, oh, snap. I had to go back and listen to him. Like, he didn't really say he was the king of the city. You know what I mean? The name of the song is called King of My City. But A Boogie on the song didn't say, oh, I'm the king of my city. You know what I mean? And um, when he said that, that this just got me thinking, like, okay. So a boogie never said he was the king of the city, but it's like it's us, the fans, you know, the people that support a boogie, the people that support people in New York is bringing that, you know, oh who is the king of the city, who is the king of New York and stuff like that. So I feel like, but a boogie, he's gonna say something that made everything very, very clear and very, very understandable. So let's continue watching it. He never said he was the king of his city, you know, he's jacking it. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I'm not from New York. It's like, nah, I know what that means. Um, but A Boogie said he was jacking, you know, that. So let's continue to hear what he got to say. I'm only jacking it because I'm supposed to jack it as a person. I mean, mm -hmm. as my person, I'm supposed to jack that. But yeah. I'm almost there. I ain't gonna lie. That's <laughs> such a humble response. I guess what he's trying to say, trying to get any other rapper in yeah. your position for as long as you've been out would have been saying that. I don't care how people that. want me to be, man. I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck about that cocky. I mean, I'm, I'm confident, right? But it's mm -hmm. not about being like, too, you can't be too confident mm. for me because that's where you get your hopes up and shit. Mm. I'm a person where you get my hopes up and I get down, be tight, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I get tight, nigga. Like, damn, man. I thought I was going to be this and I'm this. But wait, that's when I'm going to be sick. Uh, how do you, like, straddle that line? Because I got to go to your tweet. You tweeted out recently. You were like, yo, listen, it's mad people take my side this and third. And you didn't really say no one. But still, it's, it was kind of like, yo, y'all niggas give me my credit. And, and, yeah. and I looked at it and I was like, about time you said it, because other people were saying it. Yeah, Why did you say it at that point, and how do you feel about it? Because I know I'm not bugging when a lot of people put it in my ear. Let's say I go outside, and all three of y'all tell me back to back to back. For me, y'all not even with each other. The same thing. The next day, the same thing happened. The next day, the same thing happened. And that's where this whole King of My City shit came from. Two people, for me, saying it every single day. Mm. I'm like, all right, maybe I am the King of My City. Let me try to see how I feel. Put the shoes on to this shit. Mm. Word. What's showing love to you? Because you know we had me and Wayne, we had that discussion, and so, it's like, like, how, like, say someone is like inspired by you, and we know this is a rap game, so no one's gonna really be like, yo, A Boogie's the king, this and third, because they have their own egos. But yeah. how could they show love if you inspired them or you inspired like, yourself? You don't gotta blatantly show love and just out of nowhere just say it. But if somebody like, if somebody approaches you and they ask you this and that. And you deny things that's true, mm. like, that's when it's like, ah, right, you're not showing mm. love, and you okay. like, okay, yeah, you saying like, F you. Now. So yeah. like that's just giving an interview or something like that, not yeah. giving. Any I feel like that's just like the artist's ego sometimes. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, but but that's just but we gotta realize it's a cycle, man. I yeah. sound like a lot of people. Everybody sound like a lot of people. It's a cycle. Okay, me, like, wait, from big, day one. When he said that, that's when it hit me. Like, okay, so a boogie wasn't really upset that like, okay, y'all could bring this up, King of My City stuff, but like. At the end of the day, man, you gotta show you gotta show me some respect or give me some type of credit because I did make this go mainstream. I did make it pop. You know what I mean? Then he brought in and said, you know, it's a cycle. Everybody sound the same. He understand that the sound that he got is not unique. You know, he he definitely know he got it from like I was saying, speaking now because yeah, I said Dave Lowe's. That's when I when I when I was reading that, I'm like Dave Lowe's. Are you serious, bro? Come on now. 
No, but st but speaker knockers, I definitely understand where y'all was coming from from that. So when he says it's a cycle, it definitely is a cycle. You know what I mean? So a boogie definitely. I don't know if he paid homage to speaker knockers or I, I'm guessing gave him credit or show him love, but like the people that's coming after him definitely have to do that as well. Definitely got to show him some type of credit, some type of love as well. You know what I mean? Because like I said, he made it mainstream. He made it hot. He made it pop it. So let's listen to what he got to say, man. It's a cycle. He's right. It's a cycle. We know this is a rap game, so no one's going to really be like, yo, a is the king, the sand third, because they have their own egos. But yeah. how could they show love if you inspired them or you inspired well, you their gotta, You don't got to blatantly show love and just out of nowhere just say it. But if somebody like, if somebody approaches you when they ask you <clears> this and that, and you deny things that's true, mm. like, that's when it's like, ah, right, you're not mm. showing love and okay. you're like, okay. It's like weird now. I so feel like that's just in an interview or something like that, not yeah. giving any. I feel like that's just like the artist's ego sometimes. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it, but but that's just. But we gotta realize it's a cycle, man. I yeah. sound like a lot of people. Everybody sound like a lot of people. It's a cycle okay. for me. Like, Wait, from day one, because you know I'm with you. Like, you know, I said on this show, and I'm, I'm so glad. We all sound like each no, no, other. That's no, no. what I'm saying. We, I'm, we all sound I'm like so, each other no, in this rap game. Well, that day. this I is what I say. Right. You yeah. have a bunch of quote-unquote sons in New York, mm -hmm. because I do think your sound is one of the most prominent New York sounds yeah, I now. I stamped it. Early, and and so I, I think exactly. you stamped it. But then every time I say that, I hear a lot of people say, no, we, like, a boogie sound like speaker knockers or they slow over the center. Why yeah, he that's don't show? It's a cycle. That's why. After I made that post, I had a chance to really sit back and understand that yeah. it's a cycle. Like, yeah. even though like at first I regretted the post for a little for a little second, and then I'm like, nah, I don't regret this because it taught me something. Like, it made me understand it more for me. Right. Or like, damn, if I if I ain't ever make that post, the people that spoke to me would have never told me the things they told me, and I would have never got this right here for me. Yeah. I, I feel like we got to we we should show a little bit more appreciation because you know like and just being <laughs> from New York, every time. If you say that you like something, or then it's oh he dick riding or something, and and people yeah, feel reluctant. Yeah, they gotta stop shit. with that shit because I show <laughs> love if you talking about. Right. And it's, it's the problem crazy. is, it's like by the time by the time everybody <laughs> wants to show love, it's usually too late Fact. in certain senses. So it's like exactly. You know, I think we just gotta be that's a little bit more transparent mad. with that. Yeah, that's where the anger come from. <laughs> and and I gotta ask you without saying any names, did you have anyone in mind when you sent that tweet out, or was it just nah? My man was in the car playing a whole bunch of um. I guess it was an Instagram, what you call it, when you slide to the right, to the right, to yeah, the right, just to the right. Swipe right. <laughs> and I heard like mad sounds, right? And it sounded like different people, but it's the same sound. So I'm like, yo, that's crazy, because they played me last. Damn. I'm like, that's crazy. That was all different people. He told me, yeah. I'm like, damn, bro. We got to change this shit. Mm. So I made the post, not intentionally saying like, I, I don't, for me, I don't fuck with this, but I, I just want like, I want change in this shit a little bit. Like, mm. not because I don't like it, because... It's not fun no more, like I said in the post, like, make it more interesting. If everybody sound the same, why would you listen to everybody that for me? Like, why would I listen to three A Boogies? That is <laughs> Why would I listen to three Futures? Why would I listen to three, I mean, Chris Browns, when you could just listen to Chris Brown, like... If that continues to happen, does that make you feel like you need to evolve your sound to stay yeah, just ahead? Yeah, it's of not a problem, because I'm going to do what I got to do for myself. For me. Right, right. It's my opinion, so I'm going to do what I got to do. But right. When I first saw that, that tweet, I looked at it and I said... You knew, like, maybe you just, like, finally, like, it hit you that moment, so you tweeted out. But it's been like that for, like, a year plus. It's been like that before always, you drop hoodie season. Nah, I got a lot of, for me, I got a lot of benefit of the doubt for people. Because, like, I do things that's not, like, meant for you to think this, but mm -hmm. you might think because it sound like it or whatever. Like, just the other day I made a song and there was a sample in it. But I had no idea it was a sample in it because I'm just, for me, I'm just yeah. making melodies. Right. And... Melodies repeat themselves over the years. Right. You gotta learn like to really adapt to new styles. That's where the fun creativity comes from, like adapting to learning new styles and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel like you kind of stamped everything with like your last mixtape or project with Hoodie Season, right? And that like pretty much you don't even got nothing more to prove. It's like, of course, not people always got something to prove. But I feel like um, academics is right. I feel like a boogie definitely stamped his sound in New York. Um, but the whole King of My City comes from like the fans, you know what I mean? A lot of fans really bring that up. I don't think A Boogie's like, yeah, I'm really the King of My City. Like he said, he never really came out and said, yeah, I'm the King of My City, I'm the King of New York. He never came out and really said that, you know what I mean? Uh, but like, like he said, he was riding in the car and he was listening to some Instagram station and they was playing I'm guessing New York rappers, and they played them last. So he felt like, damn, that's disrespectful. Like, I'm the one that really 
you feel me, made this sound and y'all putting me last? <laughs> like that that's wild crazy. And that's what his thoughts came in, like, yo, we gotta change this up. We gotta be more creative when we making music, you know what I mean? And I feel like A Boogie definitely evolved from dropping artists to then dropping um the bigger artists, then Hoodie Season, the international artist, and now he dropped now he about to drop artist 2.0. So I definitely hear the the difference between his first project until his last project, International Season, or you could say Hoodie Season. Um and then the new project that's coming out, Artist 2.0. He definitely involved his sound, you know what I mean? And I definitely think I'm not gonna say he's gonna change I'm not gonna say A Boogie's gonna change his style, but he's definitely gonna, you know, make it sound different and be more creative in his music. Because like you say, a lot of people is making it boring if you go sound the same and while I listen to three A Boogies, you know what I mean? So he definitely wanna change things things up and I definitely understand where he's coming from but a lot of y'all wasn't understanding where A Boogie was coming from when he was like yo y'all not giving me no credit you know what I mean you're not showing me no type of love somebody come up to you and ask you about this that and the third and you deny it I'm not saying like you know say oh A Boogie is the king of my city like he was saying um but I understand where academics is coming from a lot of people got egos so they won't really and bluntly say okay A Boogie is the king of New York People won't say that, you know what I mean? People won't say that. Like, I also I also want to tap in, like, the, the Brooklyn side of New York, you feel me? With that UK beat, with that drill beat, I feel like that's being, you know, stamped in New York as well. Um, That's coming up, you feel me? You got Chef G, you got 22 Gs. He said he brought that into Brooklyn. Um, You got, who else? Who else is doing that? All I know is 22 Gs, Chef G, Sleepy Hollow. Um, Pop Smoke, a lot of people saying Pop Smoke was going to bring it up. 22G said he don't want to bring it up. So there's a lot of commotions going on in New York, man. I don't know what's going on, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of this, that, and third going on in New York. But yeah, hey, Boogie, he explained himself simple as that, man. It's not like, you feel me, he was coming at somebody. Um, but it's like more if like, yo, people got to start showing me credit. This thing is boring. You know what I mean? We got to change it up. We got to be more creative in music. Um, and also, he, he was saying it is a cycle, you know, things come back around, you know, full circle. Definitely understand where Boogie was coming from. But yeah, y'all let me know your thoughts, man.